Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Desktop Dungeons Rewind, a remake of the cult classic traditional roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out here today. Played the demo of this version about six months ago, and I really enjoyed it, so I'm excited to pop on in and see what this is all about now that it is out. Please name your new kingdom. Let's go with the Retronation. Oh, boy. In we go. The story begins. Creatures attacked in the night. The caravan was unprepared. Travelers had been warned about the unexplored realms, but pride often plays tricks on reason. Fight back! Flames and death engulfed the defenders, nomads, exiles, and vagabonds, with only a handful of real fighters among them. Escape! Injured, ill-trained, and separated from one another, many of the survivors had no choice but to press on into a nearby network of maze-like caverns. Watch your step! Just right the hell into it. All right. Uh, one moment. All right, so yeah, we're gonna be going up here. I believe, if I remember correctly, as we explore, we generate more HP. Seems to be kind of the thing. We get health from kind of seeing new tiles in the fog of war. All right, and now just telling us to go for a little bit of combat. We have five base attack, so we're gonna be going for a bang, and then a little bit of a bang. All right, wants me out here. Letting me know that I can move diagonal there is basically what that's got to be all about. Hello there, goblin. Can we uh, rotate the camera? Nope. Maybe, but we can also move with the arrow keys. So, I see. You are going to be... You have a, a little bit extra health. Doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be a bad idea. You also have first strike. However, I think we kind of want to, like, make sure we're optimally moving in. Undead and bloodless. Cannot be poisoned physically. Has no blood. It will not leave a blood pool. I mean, that's fine. So, I mean, we got the straightforward, you know, traditional roguelike combat for now. But I do remember we get more spells. And it gets kind of, like, puzzly in the sense of where you're like, how do I clear out the map? When do I explore more? Because that's also how I heal. It's just sort of like really trying to figure out when the proper times to move on are. So we move on there. We're good. So clearly you want me out here. Let's actually explore the least new tiles. And you actually can even see up here. It's really nice quality of life stuff. Uh, that little two. There's like a small yellow line and yellow line here. It looks like that's where the first attack will leave us for health, and that's where a second attack would leave us. So you can like really quickly figure out what's up there. Got attack, attack, health, or uh, mana just laid out here. Get them all. Burn their eyes. Burns your enemies for four points of magical damage per character level, slowing their regeneration. So now we have ourselves a little bit of a spell. Physical resist 90%. So they are going to be very resistant to this. Doesn't mean we shan't do it. Don't have enough mana, but if we move up, we'll get some back. Fireball. Blast. All right. What else we got? What is, what's up here? got herself a health or a mana potion 40 percent of your total mana added to the pile health potion 40 percent also removes poison for what it's worth so if we go for bang bang and then see if we attack now we do take the hit but we could also just finish him off with a fireball so we don't take that damage right at the end does how much yeah not enough to be relevant in this scenario, I'd say. Okay, so we got up to full HP. Sensory stone that seems completely inert at first, but yields great rewards after a conversion process. I shall take it. Okay. We gave ourselves a 10% a attack bonus by doing that. Certainly not bad. Okay, you are a little bit outside of my pay grade at this moment. 
Spending mana to avoid losing HP seems like a great call. Ooh, boy. At the moment? Yeah, like, I could slowly chip at you. And the thing is, if I'm going to heal anyways, I guess I should do unattack. No, because you heal up over time. Gotcha. That stops that from being a thing. Uh... Offering a bonus, when worn, offering a bonus of two maximum mana. We could also convert it into more of this. Hmm. Cost six. I mean, it's pretty, 13 is a pretty noteworthy threshold. Because we can fire twice in a row at 12. Okay, we probably don't want to clear out over here. Not yet. I didn't know if that meant there was something special there. Still not looking too good to fight you up here. I'm not going to say we couldn't. We could do an attack, attack, fireball. Works enough for me. Okay, we got another level th three. Oh, uh, sure. Okay, attack, fireball. Oh my, oh my. But here's the thing. They, they throw you right in. I don't even know that... It, I don't think that it does the game justice necessarily to, uh, to do so. Because a lot of the really cool things are about, like, sort of the base management and unlocking new classes and, uh, and, and races, etc., etc. But hey... Okay, we can go for an attack, attack. Maybe fireball? Fireball doesn't do it. Eh, I'll just finish you off. We get a full a full heal there. Now things are looking a lot better. Can I... How much does this do? Works for me. So this is going to get a little bit stupid if I just, like, keep smacking you like that. We could go up there and we could hit him, but it's not really going to be too wise. Not yet, at least. Okay, do I want to do it now? God, I do. I just love how snappy it is. You know, it's just like all of a sudden you're you're there. If you really want to just like zip up there. Oh, hello. Bleat. Good goat. Okay, not... Uh, not looking to go for that yet. We don't. The thing is, we don't have to attack him. It's on us. So now it wants me to go for him, and I and I can, for what it's worth. Get attack. Throw the fireball, so he hopefully doesn't regen as much. And then we have him. There it is. Trophy is what you came here for, so grab it and let's go. Do I want to? I'd rather throw and die. That sounds more fun. Also, I wonder if there's any other... Yeah, let's convert that. Who needs this garbage? I will, but... Yeah, what, what is this about? Why You wanted me to come down here. What for? To show me about all the money, I guess? I mean, thank you? Not needed. Uh, 10 extra max HP is something for sure. There we go. We have a 30% attack bonus that we don't truthfully need. See, so yeah, I think we're, we're just out of here now. Congratulations, make it through your first dungeon. In case you're still uncertain about some things, we'd like to offer you some guided tutorials before plunging you into the full game experience. Otherwise, feel free to move on to more complicated play scenarios straight away. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to pause the video check in on the tutorial and then if it seems like it's relevant info i will unpause and let you guys know nah i went through nothing of importance that i didn't already cover of the people who escaped the initial attack on the camp many perished in the deadly underground dungeons others pressed on their determination to survive outweighing the odds the odds being goats there were it was a goat it, it, it was just the tit taught you the same normal stuff and then there was just a level six goat that they told you you wouldn't be able to beat, and then it kills you. 
And it's just, that's just how it goes. Tutorial 2, uh, we'll see here. I guess I'm gonna <laughs> go back to paused land. Alright, same deal. <laughs> same deal, nothing new. Congratulations on your dungeon survival. I was also involved in that dreadful caravan attack, but managed to avoid harm by hiding in my obscure documents closet. Your experiences have made one thing clear to the rest of the survivors. If there's to be any hope for us, we need to band together in a base of operations. We need a kingdom with me in charge, naturally, to make things is any more... Wait, to make this any more than a lowly adventuring band's dream, you'll need to secure funds for development. Your survival and experience have inspired hope in the members of this camp, and they've voted to put you in charge. Time to gather the rabble and loot some dungeons. Delegated looting, I like it. As newly elected kingdom administrator, I think you could do with a little help from a professional advice monger such as myself. Why don't I help you along with the whole securing our immediate future thing? Finger crossbows. You ready to send someone on their adventure, select a dungeon, and we'll get to filling out your hero's permit form. Great. Now just confirm your selection here. It's a legal requirement of our selection confirmation con committee. So this is also part of the tutorial, but this is way, like, this is something that we didn't know already, or you may not know already. Now let's go about recruiting your next dungeon hero. You'll need to select two things, a kin and a class. For now, just choose the human race wheel because nobody else is around yet. Humans get a 10% attack bonus for every 100 conversion points. A wise and excellent non-decision, mighty administrator. Now, select the guard. Uh, no special abilities. Your new hero has been bureaucratically cleared. Have them sally forth by hitting the play button. All right. Welcome, hero, the legendary dungeon of hidden treasures. While exploring, why not help yourself to a complimentary glyph of fiery doom? Don't mind if I do. All right. Back to pause land. Aha! Excellent direction of our efforts. It just told me how to use spells. Bold administrator, the bounty from that dungeon can now be put to good use. If your fledgling kingdom is to survive beyond its first few weeks, it will need a reliable and well-trained force of heroes to keep the terrors of this land at bay. Couldn't have done it without you. You're too kind. Your new position gives you responsibility over our collected funds and efforts. This represents the resources we've managed to scrounge together so far. Is that all? Your current task is ensuring our survival, so I recommend investing in our limited funds or investing our limited funds in training and arming some real defenders. Click the outpost. Upgrade this structure by clicking on the helpfully labeled button here. This will allow us to start recruiting our first available hero type, the fighter. Kingdom Administrator, remember this moment well, for you have just taken your first tentative steps down a long and glorious path. Under your guidance, we'll build a kingdom to challenge the gods themselves. Too early for a statue. Admirable clicking and spending, Noble Administrator. You've just unlocked the fighter class. These hardy warriors are superior to common guards in several ways. They excel at hunting down opponents and gaining experience quickly. Good. Administrator, our scouts have discovered a monster lair in the surrounding area. It's time to take the fight to them. Let's have our heroes earn their keep. They can return when they have some monster heads and or other souvenirs of victory. Bring me loot. Well, that sounds like an interesting prospect. Oh, sorry for butting in. We'll chat later. Who's that? All right. This dungeon will introduce you to inventory management and boss trophies. That may or may not be something I know of, so sure. Whoop. Fighter. So that just straight up replaces the guard there, it seems like. Can sense enemies further away, gains experience when being at when attacked by higher level enemies, and less experience needed per level. Dungeon runs start with one level of standard death protection. Interesting. Here it is, your hour of triumph. Your goal in this dungeon is simple. Find the goat boss, slay it, and leave the dungeon with its horns for proof as proof of your deed. Not only will you prove yourself ready to move on from these annoying tutorials, but you'll become the new kingdom's first celebrated hero. hero. I'm not above puns. Alright, so I... Whoop, I think that this last, like, tutorial more or less is... Okay, you're treated with the welcome sight of a burn to Rosglyph. Yes. Indeed. So we got ourselves a spell. A sword. Okay. Items such as weapons and armor can also be added to your inventory. They will be considered in use as soon as you pick them up. So there's usually no need to specially equip them. Grab the sword and check the improvement to your damage. 
So in use on pickup, keep picking up items as you find them and note how they start filling up your inventory space. Differently sized items will eat up space accordingly. No inventory, Tetris? Okay, so that takes... F gotcha, that takes five. So this is worth noting. Like, this is actually a useful tutorial for me. That was just a health upgrade. But we have 20 out of 30. Can convert items on the ground using the convert button instead of putting it in inventory first. But beware, conversion is an irre irreversible process and you never get the item back. Convert what's not needed. I don't know what's not needed. Potions are a special kind of stackable item that takes up far less space. Having lots of them is always nice. The dreaded goat waits for you at the end of this corridor. No hints, no hand-holding, using a combination of your items, spells, and character skills. See if you can defeat it and take its horn. Bling. I mean, seems like we more or less could just, like, pop you with the potions. Am I mistaken? Isn't there, like, a million different ways we could have done that, too? Well done, Nero. The goat has dropped a trophy for you to claim. Grabbing a monster trophy ends the dungeon session, but you can hang around as long as you want before taking it. It is a lovely place. Is it? There's not really anywhere that... Is there somewhere else to go? All right. Victory, your hero parades through the muddy streets of your rapidly growing settlement. Goat horn clasped in one mailed fist. Rose petals and jubilant shouts alike fill the air as townsfolk come out to celebrate. Amidst the glee, a lone figure approaches you as you recline in your administrator's parade viewing chair. Who thrown who dares? Oi there. Can't help but notice the sheer amount of fun that you're all having with that chunk of monster skull. Happen to have a business proposal related to that. I'm listening. This may seem rather forward, but I was once a renowned taxidermist in the surrounding realms, and I know a lot of very rich buyers who would love a mounted BC head of some kind hanging over their fireplace. Blagging, blah, 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 blah. Bragging rights. See? Blah, 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 blah. Why do I care? <laughs> Long story short, I'd like to buy that trophy from you. I have the gold right here. How much gold? This kingdom needs some kind of regular income, right? Well, work with me, and we can build the entire economy around hunting and slaying evil. Pretty sure that this will turn into a long and mutually profitable relationship. Just keep the gold coming. Okay, so that's sold for 150. There's more than one way to slay the average dungeon monstrosity, and the kingdom's population is one of diverse talents and interests. Magic users, holy men, and even common cut purses are, are interested in fighting the good fight, especially if there's money involved. Monster trophies are a valuable source of kingdom income. Let's put them under good use by building a second guild. Upgrading this structure gives you priests, reliable slayers of the undead with impressive health buffs. Holy folk. Upgrading this will give you wizards. They start off with a free fireball, lower mana cost, and other abilities make the glyph much easier to use. Nice hats, too. This gives you uh, thieves. They excel at squeezing extra value out of the dungeon resources and deal a little extra damage to unsuspecting opponents. Hide the silver. Select a building. Let's go for the mage tower. Brave New Kingdom is still in grave peril. The denizens of nearby dungeons are breathing down our necks. If a brave hero wanders in and slays the leaders of each area, the rest should be demoralized enough to scatter. Okay. Most autonomous and independently thinking administrator, I believe you've learned enough to start performing kingdom duties in whichever way you see fit. I'll be still on hand to advise you when you need anything where new matters come up, but from here you may consider your decisions and opportunities somewhat more open. Have fun. Finger crossbows. All right, Thousand Cuts, The Badlands, or Vince's Vault. Uh, I don't know, man. More sheep? Let's go here. Quests, City Expansion. Oh, well. I can't help but notice that there's sheep everywhere. Garban, the whoa! Sir Digby. Vince the Invincible. Uh... Bring your biggest sword. Maintains a charming collection of wizard skulls. Shrugs off magic. I kind of want to take a wizard. Uh, well, not particularly vicious. He has high endurance. It doesn't sound particularly like a... This realm... Okay. Magic and cunning are required to prevail. Alright, fine. 
I just want to make sure I use the wizards. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to get more of these here. So we'll go for human, wizard, uh, can sense the location of all glyphs from level start. All glyphs are small items. Glyphs cost minus one mana and donate 10 conversion points to other conversions. What? Uh, stats with... Starts with the burn to Ra's glyph. Fa faster burn stacking. Works for me. All right. In we go. You're playing as a human wizard. Yes. Okay. So we have the burn to Ra's. Uncovers three random dungeon tiles with normal regeneration benefits. Swap places with an enemy, adding a slow debuff. No blink retreat or retaliation and strike second bonus experience that sounds really useful part of me kind of wants to convert this I'm gonna regret it let's do it okay so how much we don't do too much more with the fireball but it does cost less mana you don't really do that much to me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and smack you. You know what? We don't even need to use the mana. I think we just do the poke, poke, pokes for now. Another Lamessi. Power-ups like these only improve maximum stats and have a few short-term benefits, so pick them up as soon as possible. Powering up. I'll say no to that. We can just increase our base damage. Sounds good. Foul nemesis, it appears that you've discovered my base of operations. I cannot suffer your presence and allow you to live. Regards, Sir Digby the Goat, who totally is a boss character. Sir, this is a Denny's? <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, so we will we'll come back to deal with you. Yeah, tw it'll take us 27 hits to kill that guy. So we need to definitely get, like, a lot stronger through various means. I do love that we got a Sir This Is a Denny's. So, yeah, I was going to say, am I mistaken or is there, like, no reason to have that? The wait what? So we could theoretically, like, swap with you and then, I mean, it, should I do it this way? Probably not, but now you're... Okay, so did slow go away after I uh, I, did, I did a hit? Seems like it. Let's get the permanent stat ups. Two HP. A little bit more spooky. I feel like maybe I should convert something else too. Is there anything else to convert? Yeah. One, two... Like, we could get you, but I'm a little bit... That puts us apparently at 13 experience. So, actually... Oh, shoot. I was gonna say... Okay, there we go. Because that does level us up. It's pretty noteworthy. So, we got a level three here. Could get you out of here in two... So here's the thing. Swaps places with the enemy, adding slow debuff, no blink retreat or retaliation. Strikes second. So I guess the implication would be that that goes away? After I hit you with the fire? Otherwise, because... Are you still slowed? Yeah, that that's what it is. That's absolutely what it is. Okay, all right. Lesson learned. We can go up here. We can get a little bit of health back. We could handle you in two. We could attack, swap attack. That puts us at 14 experience, one off um, level up. But I don't, I don't mind it. So we can theoretically attack, swap, and now we could... Oh, one off. One off... All right. A mistake. 
surely a mistake. Maybe I should just ditch the wait what? One, two, three hits for you. Let's find out what you are. Trying to figure out exactly how much this does. What's the exact number of damage? I'll say it doesn't look like it. It's not going to be enough to kill for us to attack, attack, fireball. It's just not enough. So I think I'm going to have to use a health potion in one of these scenarios. Yeah, so slowed last for one turn. Alternatively, we could fireball twice if we get one more mana. So we could attack. Attack dangerously. Fireball. Fireball. Very dangerous, but it worked fine. We have the uh, we have the health potion should we need it. Kill you in one. All right. Absolutely, Shrek damage upgrade. Kill in one. Yeah, a little bit worse. A little bit worse. Level three. That's a kill in two if we want it. Apparently, you are just slower than I am. Or I think it's just that the goblins have first strike. Yeah. Dungeon hint to Writer's Guild member number one. When fighting monsters, pay attention to your and their health. Whoever runs out of first dies. Oh, my God. Casting fireball means a free attack. Good deal. Aware, aware. Okay, so we were... We're getting a lot closer to this being good. Let's um scoot around up here, though. Okay, this gets us to max. Oh, man. This was here the whole time. I mean, I knew it was there. I guess I just thought that there was more danger up there as well. Because you got to be careful, like, considering exploring is also your healing, you just got to be kind of tight with it. So we got our level up. We should be good to absolutely destroy you. Attack, 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 fireball, fireball. Get out of here, punk. I'm out. Yoink. Trophy sold. You sold the gold, goat horn for 150 more gold. Upgrade for a thousand. I'm just curious. Taxidermist. Where was the wizard tower? So this also has the unlocks for sorcerer and blood mage. Theoretically, if we upgrade. I go for the thief stand. Magic and cunning required to prevail. Did I not do that one? I thought that's the one I did, but hey. It was really... Wait. Maintains charming. Bring your biggest sword. Shrugs off magic. Let's go here with our, uh, our rogue. We're with a rogue. Human thief. Go. Go. All right, what do we have? What is this? Biceps. <laughs> Boost your next melee attack with a 30% damage bonus. Erodes 3% resistances. Hmm. Pick it up. Want to fight? <laughs> Summons existing enemy. Summons an existing enemy. Adding slow debuff, no blink retreat or retaliation. Strike second bonus experience. I mean... Seems like a good way to farm up. Stats. Okay. Good, good. 
So it just brings them towards me. It doesn't really... Which is not inherently bad. If I'm at full health, I kind of want to bring them towards me like that. Oh, there's a second one. Because then I can save my exploring for when it matters. You know, like, by just doing this, I'm not wasting any of my heals for when I may need them. So you're level three. Doesn't matter too much. Fireball. Want to fight? Eh. So you don't have first strike, do you? Doesn't matter. Okay, get the mana health, get the attack upgrade. Don't forget to explore sub-dungeons. They show up as extra staircases, usually offer bonuses. I'm with you. Don't need another one. Do we want to go down first, though? Smack. Smack. Free farm. So, hold on. 30% extra damage to enemies with full health. 33% more items. All health and mana potions restore both health and mana. Okay, that's actually pretty legit. Whenever possible, get back to full health before fighting the next monster. Bonk. Good god. Yeah. Alright, I'm liking the thief class. I'm liking the auto farm thief class. The, bring him here. Let him come. Let them come. Hey, adventurer! Hey, over there! Yeah, it's me. The dungeon boss, come on. Just try and hit me with a fireball. I dare you. Haha, <laughs> you suck. Oops. <laughs> Maybe shouldn't have, uh... Well, oh well. We, we actually can kill him. We actually literally have lethal already. But that... I really could have screwed myself over there. Feels like I should probably explore a bit more. Yeah, there's nobody else on this floor. You can always just leave. Okay. Down we go. What do you get? Well, alright. He had a sword. Mighty fine sword by the looks of it. It could probably add about four base damage. Well. Wonderful. <laughs> I think we're good. Alright. Hail, most industrious kingdom administrator. Local blacksmith, unsatisfied with the extremely poor sales of farm equipment, has a business proposal to bolstering the heroes in your kingdom. When you're interested, pay a visit to the supply store. Deal. Upgrading this building will allow you to buy equipment. Congratulations, you've upgraded the key structure and now have access to dungeon preparations. Preparations? In this building, a new preparation in this building's new preparation area, you'll see several slots with a variety of performance boosting dungeon effects, such as free items, run modifiers, or more abstract benefits. Sounds helpful. If you want to see how these preparations affect dungeoneering, just start up the next adventure. Alright. Let's -a go. So this one was uh, magic and cunning. Magic and cunning required to prevail. Um, I don't know, man. That sounds like it could either be 
wizard or thief. Kind of just, I kind of liked the thief though more. All right, time to start using any new dungeon preparations. You may select one preparation per row for your adventure's next expedition. One per row. You'll be charged with a small amount of kingdom gold for each preparation. Your list of active preps is shown here. Ah, preps cost gold. Uh, plus two damage. I mean, sure. Honest two damage taken. Destroy enemy. But, yeah. I don't know. Typically, I'm not, like, a meta progression guy. The big, like, um, uh, kind of asterisk to that is if it is a game that's very much, like, more of a campaign-based thing or, like, a, you know, like a rogue legacy or a desktop dungeon where you're kind of building up a town over the course of many, many runs and your character more or less is you outside of the dungeons right and you're kind of managing you know a group of individuals like like a guild of dungeoneering desktop dungeons yeah rogue legacy like that kind of element i kind of i like it in in this instance uh but yeah here we are okay so with an immediate pop Pop. Would I like the mana? Sure. Alright, we don't have a fireball. So we gotta be a little bit more patient. I see a, a level 5 there already. Okay, good. Give our extra damage. Level 1. Grants you first strike in your next combat round and a f end five percent dodge chance. Now that is going to be worth having. Could I? I could maybe trash this fireball even. What's the hotkey? G. Okay, so it doesn't work against goblins since they also have first strike. Okay, you're quite healthy. Yeah, that, that's very much the truth. Gotcha. I don't know that the fire the fireball's not gonna do enough on its own there. Okay. Take that. Damage up for sure. Definitely converts. End as well. Destroy a dungeon wall. Gain a temporary 20% physical resistance. This will stack. I'll take that because I feel like we can use it to get to secret areas. Alright. One fireball or two. Whoo, Nelly. Good. Get that heal on. Okay, there, there's our big level. Let's go for this and then G to get a first strike. Same deal. So we get it. How much? For nine mana, we can go boom, boom, boom. Without ever getting it. Attack back to destroy items and convert them into stat boons, drag them. Yes, indeed. I think I want the things I have. The wall thing being the one I could probably get rid of the most at this point. But I don't want to. So that's the level five. Let's go down here first. More gold, more gold. See, that's what I was... That's what I was saying. More, 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 more. Rewards. Escape. Down here, I think we're pretty much good. Another health upgrade is good. Been around since desktop dungeons alpha, and I'm gonna kick your bottom. <laughs> Just let me land one hit. Regards, Garbad the Woe. That's a lot of damage. I like your old graphics better. <laughs> that's 
hit for you. Bye-bye. But I, I, I just love how streamlined and quick you can go. Like, imagining how quick you can move once you understand what's going on. You can just really blitz through things. Congratulations, you defeated the three terrible goat lords of the surrounding dungeons, and your kingdom breathes a collective sigh of relief. Unfortunately, you're running up against a new kind of problem. As you take the spoils of your hero's dungeon exploits back to the kingdom treasure vault, you notice it's becoming a teensy bit full. Blow it on a statue! It's time for the official vault to, to expand beyond the confines of that old couch in your spare bedroom. For now, you'll need to focus on finding a better source of cash security, and hiding it in random pots across town simply won't do. Puts the pottery down. Rumors abound in the local tavern that mysterious creatures known as bankers have been sighted in the nearby, in the nearby realms. If you can catch one, maybe you can harness its power in some way. All right. Now that you're going further afield, quests and dungeons are becoming accessible from the map screen. Click on the tavern to prepare for your next adventure. Field reports say that well-dressed creature has been sighted in the den of danger, allegedly trying to assess its value on the real estate market. Said to be somewhat magic-resistant, very prone to financial jargon and arcane mantras like time is money. Challenge and defeat the banker roaming here, and we may be able to unlock some of its financiamancy secrets. Watch out, banker. Well, the Venture Cave is well known as a gathering point for the deadly adventure slayable beasties. Also tends to be a meeting point for dubious dealers and good smugglers. Trackers are almost certain that you'll be able to find a banker wandering around here, challenge and defeat it. Gives you an overview of the kingdom's surroundings and all the dungeoneering opportunities that they represent. Click on one of the quest flags. Confirm your selection here as you, just as you would with a dungeon. Great, you're in the dungeon prep mode. If you change your mind about the quest you've accepted or any other aspect of the hero's creation process, you can jump to the appropriate phase with a simple click. On the left there, clicking here takes you back to the map screen. Nod. This takes you to the class and kin. Or you can just cancel and resume your important looking at kingdom duties. The realm is your plaything. That's it for now. Do as you see fit within the realms of bureaucratic compatibility, of course. All right, so we theoretically have enough to, yeah, grab that, too. Priest, Monk, Paladin, Angle, Puzzle Challenges. All right. Well, shall I explore out one more? Oh, and it tells you how many, cla like, different classes you beat it with. Che cheeky. Different badges. Gotcha. Reliable, adventuring favorite, classic dungeon plays, hosts to many of the realm's known denizens. Balanced and ever-evolving experience for aspiring heroes. One of the many... Yeah. Okay. We'll pop on in. And let's go for one... Let's do one run as the uh, priest. Good health. Extra three health is gained per level. Health potions are 100% more effective. And physical damage taken against undead is plus 100. Wait. Physical damage dealt against undead is plus 100%. Plus two flat damage, da less damage taken. I mean, if we have more, we have more health already. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Smack. Pamphlet advertising the services of someone with very expensive taste in paper. Perhaps you should read it. Do you have a living body? Fragile, isn't it? What if I told you there was a way to avoid the mess of brutal evisceration? A savvy adventurer like you would want to know more. Yes, it's called rewind insurance. When your inevitable violent demise occurs, insurance will re uh, rewind time, allowing you to make healthier choices. You won't have to do a thing. The whole process is automatic. Though, legally, we cannot say painless. Dying is less permanent? I'm a wall. Creates a wall and a dungeon tile if the tar- If, wait. If this target's an enemy, your next kill- earns 50% bonus experience. If not, two mana is refunded. Huh. Biceps. I'll take them both for now. So, like...
Interesting. It's basically like trashing an enemy to make the next one give us more? I mean... All things considered... Seems like a side grade. But I guess it's for if there's like an enemy that really is gonna be causing a problem. I guess we can handle you. Damage up. Oh! Free farm. Free mana. Let me see. Uncovers three item. I'm gonna convert that. I don't think that it's bad. I just I think I'm gonna say no. We got a level nine here. Not right now. Uh oh. At the same time, I'm starting to unveil lots of tiles without getting the prerequisite benefits. Don't really want to explore too much. Find me another low level. Good deal. There's a one. There's a one. Damage up, mana up, mana potion. Sounds good. Probably handle a level four. We don't have a... Um, I don't know. I guess I could, like, I could use the I'm a wall on a high level unit that I'm maybe not going to be going for to get a bigger boost now. Being said, we have an undead here, so we're going to get a level up because that is a huge boost. Solo kill, straight up. Uh, first strike, I do like that one quite a bit. I don't think we trash that. Okay, get out of here. Level six, level four. I mean, kind of want to see what's up. This would bring us to 24. We have to be slow. See, that's pretty huge. One weird trick achievement. Petrify an enemy, then earn more than double its experience value on your next kill. See, right there. Get rich quick. Okay, hold on. We could actually do the same thing. But we have to be, like, good with the potion. Goliath Gutter. Kill an enemy that is three levels above you. I feel like you gotta be careful, though, because I'm... I am removing enemies that... Okay, hold on. That I may need. Just because I kind of want to see if I can do the fancy trick. The thing is, I totally can. Level five there. Anything else that was too much? There's level four down there. Level nine up top. Is this something... Pop to level five. A little bit of money. What do we have? Uh, okay, so we are limited in space. Do I need this again? I don't know. I feel like... I'm going to ditch the biceps. One MP, one damage. The noble profession of hero stems back to the original Sapphire Knight, a celebrated figure whose deeds, prowess, and origins are hotly contested by today's scholars. The knight's legendary helm is said to be a gift from the gods. Never forget the OG. Okay, so there's nothing down here, just a bunch of rewards. Just a bunch of treasure down here? Aw, oh, man. So there's no way to unwall these individuals. What's this, G again? Yeah. Smack. Smack. Alternatively, we could just trash you so that we get a 50% experience boost on you.
like trash low level fools to get value on high level fools. Okay. It's alchemy. Oh, this is such a good way of doing it. Okay. Huge boost. I feel like I'm overleveled. To say the least. But I also don't care. There's a level 10 down here, which I feel like is probably going to be the boss. Those who switch... Switch... <laughs> Hard word. Difficult word. Still learning. Those who search for the secrets of banking need to prevail not one but two economist combat trials. See that you're already prepared for this with our bank guaranteed adventure insurance. You're wiser than you look. I'll not go easy on you. According to the subclause on page 16A of my contract, I'm obliged to kill you if your performance is unsatisfactory. Your exit has been blocked and we fight to the death. Regards, the banker. These contracts are brutal. Are you an undead? Seems new. All right, let's um, scoot on up here for a bit. See if we can get one more level. I feel like I may have frozen like just too many enemies. Oh, fireball. Let me see. You're a, you look like a vampire to me. But apparently you have no, like, vampiric ability. Ability! Your physical resistance is 35. Does that mean sell or nah? Yeah, I think I froze too many enemies to get to the next level. I, I kind of doubt it's going to be a big deal. I think that I'll be able to handle it with the potions I have. But that is very much it. Oh, wait. Hey, there we go. Oh, that's perfect. There we go. Never mind. We're all good. Uh, the question is, I know that he has physical resist. This is no longer necessary. So I can ha I can take it. Probably just truthfully trash everything and go for, like, the most honest fight imaginable. With just a bunch of potions and it'd probably be okay. That's a, that's a pretty good amount of damage, though. We could do, like, um... Oops. Yeah, I kind of, I like that better. And then we, you know what? We could even just trash this. Literally 10. A physical attack? How quaint! I'm an ancient being of untold power and influence. I would have thought you'd at least have some magic with you. Um, says the guy who was just blasted by six fireballs <laughs> in a row. <laughs> Looks like you'll be using up your insurance quickly. I have a glyph here somewhere. A physical attack, man on fire. <laughs> heavens, heavens no, child. What are you thinking? Explore a little more. Havu. Hello. Yo, here I am, Emissary, Emissary Havu, speaking on behalf of the dwarves who'd like to... Oh, hey, uh, you know what? Sure. I didn't, couldn't tell us it's a dwarf. George, who'd like to join your kingdom, you collect adventures. Awesome. Brotastic. Sounds like it could make us loads of cash. I know a shortcut out of this dungeon. Let's head back to your pad and I'll have a chat with your administrator after a celebratory ale party, of course. Maybe two. Oh, uh, thanks for defeating that totally lame buzzkill vampire upstairs. I owed, it, owed it some money and didn't want to deal with that mess. You're the best, dude. After you, bro. Got dwarf bros. All right. Good deal. Puzzle time. Retired adventurers are full of useful knowledge that can make dungeoneering easier, possibly safer. They want a place to keep all the things they've discovered and are suggesting a guild of exploration. 
Puzzles unlocked, starter pack, tutorials, Agbar's Academy. Most well-rested administrator. Oh boy, not true. Particularly motivated bunch of adventurers have constructed a new building on the edge of your kingdom and quite kept me awake with all their hammering. Shall we see what their enthusiasm, enthusiasm has wrought? Sure. Most curious and building pokey administrator. This is the Guild of Exploration, built to give adventurers small, fixed dungeon scenarios with distinct solutions. Guild members often call these things puzzles. Puzzles are organized in packs like these. Selecting one will show you the contents. If you manage to complete every puzzle in the pack, you'll usually get a reward. New puzzles arrive at the guild from time to time, and most of them have important lessons to teach. So be sure to come back and solve them if you find yourself getting stuck in harder dungeons. Good deal. The industrious beer-loving dwarves are valuable allies to have in a kingdom as lightly developed as yours. With their solid work ethic and heroic levels of hangover warding cons constitution, they make for especially durable adventurers. Of course, their services don't come cheap. If you want to start training them up for adventure, you'll need to improve their living quarters. Yes. I love it. Delta Iota Gamma. So, just want to poke in real quick. Just want to see... They get 10 max health for every 80 conversion points. So humans gain attack for every 100. Dwarves get 10 health for every uh, 80. Interesting. All right. But, yeah. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Dungeon... <laughs> Desktop Dungeons Rewind. If you want more of this, I uh, really could be convinced to do that. I really enjoyed it. I, I had a great time. Um, but it's out now on Steam. I believe it is free for anybody who owns the original desktop dungeons, which I'd say that a lot of people who are, you know, big fans of the roguelike genre may, uh, from a various bundle or whatever. It's been out for a long time. So, yeah, you can get a, basically a free upgrade to this one. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I recommend it. it. It's simplistic at first, and I, like I said earlier, I think that they don't put their best foot forward, dropping you into the, the base scenario with no like without the tutorial elements because I would almost say that that's going to be a bit better because you also have like a little bit of the charming humor of the game uh, stepping forward as well and also expressing that there is a little bit more to it than it seems than just run up smack with face until you know one of you dies there, there's absolutely more to it and I can only imagine as you get more and more stuff uh, it's going to change more and more but it is still a nice like streamlined traditional roguelike that also has this base building uh, rogue light element to it. So I think it's just, I don't know. It fills a really nice hole that, I don't know, not a lot of games in the roguelike genre are trying to fill. I, you know, despite being basic, it's underserved at the same time. So pick it up if you're interested. Link in the top description. My name is Retromation. Cover uh, indie games every single day with an extra special theme, roguelikes and roguelites. If that's something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.